Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today on iOS Advice, we are looking at the Emoji Keyboard. This is a keyboard layout that was first added in iOS 5 and it actually brings you all these little cute smiley faces and uh, different pictures here that you can add to text messages. Now these are only visible on other iOS devices, but if you have a, a lot of friends with iPhones, then it definitely comes in handy too add some emotion to your messages. iOS 6 adds a whole bunch of new emojis, uh, quite a few more than it did have in iOS 5, and I'm gonna show you how to enable this special keyboard here. So in order to enable the emoji keyboard, you want to go into your settings app, and then scroll down until you see general here, tap on general, then down at the bottom of the general screen, you'll see keyboard. Go ahead and tap on keyboard here, and at the bottom of the screen you'll see keyboards go into that menu and here you'll be able to add different keyboards for the most part these add a bunch of other languages to your keyboard english arabic bulgarian cherokee all, all types of different languages here that you can add as keyboards to your ios device but one of them in the list is emoji and you'll see that right there underneath dutch if you tap on emoji you'll get those cute little icons and smiley faces. So if we go into a message here, and this works all throughout iOS, so it's not just limited to your messages app, it actually works in Twitter, Facebook, uh, etc. all the other apps. This is a standard keyboard in iOS, but it will only be visible on iOS devices. So if you put an emoji icon in a message and they don't have an iOS device, they'll be showing some weird looking character and they won't know what you're trying to say. To access the emoji keyboard, once your keyboard is displayed on the screen, you can go ahead and type a message, whatever you want, anything there, and then you have this little new globe icon in the corner here. If you tap on the globe icon, you'll be switched to this emoji keyboard, and you can tap on it again to go back to the regular one. And in here, like I said, we have a ton more emojis than iOS 5 gave us. So there's a lot more different pictures to choose from and we have different categories here. Once you start building up some of the more common things that you enter, in this little clock right here, it'll actually show your favorite emoji icons. Usually those consist of the most recent ones that you've used, but it says right here, this section will automatically collect your most recent and frequently used icons. So anything that we add in here now will obviously be in that list, but over time it'll start to gather which ones are your favorite and it'll keep those down here in that list so you can access them at any time just by tapping the globe really quick and adding one in there. So that is the emoji keyboard in iOS 6. I hope this was helpful. Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. My name is Dom and have a great day.